This video is brought to you by a product I use weekly, Harry's. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation, thank you so much for clicking on this video. We are going to start our journey with Fallout. This is going to be a very interesting reaction journey because normally here at the channel, that when it comes to like IP, existing IP, we usually have like, oh, the hosts are both fans of it or, oh, the host, they know nothing about it. This is a case where I know nothing about Fallout and he knows everything about Fallout. So you're going to have to do a really good job at not spoiling spoiling anything for me, my friend, while also showcasing that you really know Fallout. So I can be oh, very nice. surprised during this journey. MJ Tesler, how you doing, buddy? I am so excited. Uh, Fallout is one of the greatest video game series to ever exist. I'm also terrified because video game adaptations historically can go in two very different directions, but I've got a lot of faith and hope in Jonathan Nolan. How are you feeling, Greg? You excited? I'm excited. I loved Westworld. So that's my main gauge for Jonathan Nolan when it comes to TV. But you guys know what to do. Leave a like on this video. That'd be very much appreciated. Subscribe and click that notification bell because we are, of course, going to be covering all of Fallout. Thank you to Prepper for helping to set it down these highlights. And a massive thank you to all who have been showing your support by joining our Patreon page. Seriously, thank you to all who have been joining. Over there, you get the full-length reaction watch-alongs where you sync up with your own copy of Fallout. We also cover several things over there, exclusive highlights and watch-alongs included. But this being the first episode, though, we make that public for everyone. There's a link in the description box if you want to try out the watch-along experience. MJ Tesla, are you ready to dive into this and see what the journey is? Blah, 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 blah. I was so smooth that whole intro. I got my there. Nuka Cola, my stim packs, and I'm ready to go. You just spoiled the whole show. <laughs> the end. I was walking along, minding my business. <laughs> Alakazam. Walton Goggins is one of our best living American character actors. <laughs> I said American. Amen. Whoa, what's going on in the background there? It's like a building on fire? Ooh. Ready to be of service, madam. <laughs> Ooh, it's cool. Subtle, lived in. I love how they're just throwing you into it without being overly showy about it. They're really capturing the feeling. All right, birthday boy. Let's get a photo of you up here on Sugar. I think that's LA. Yeah, I think it is too. Honey, get with Koopa. Let's get a picture. Uh, you bet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 Koop, Koop, Koop. Do your thumbs up. Uh, is he going to get a picture? Yeah, I prefer not to if that's all right. That guy with the beer's an a hole. Pinko. Yeah. <laughs> Pinko. <laughs> God, that is excessive in the way he's taking photography. The use of just having the skyline. Yeah, you're always aware of something. <laughs> like it's percolating. I, I'm sorry, I can't do this. I can't do the weather if I don't even know if there's going to be a next week. only happy thoughts. Not <laughs> oh, did you not catch that? <laughs> Sugar bombs. <laughs> nice. Oh, man, all the references. This is wonderful. All right. I think that's everything. Mm, Nuka-Cola. Do it. The thumbs up. Oh, it's uh, it's grown up stuff. Grown up stuff. Back when I was in the Marine. Oh. Okay. If they ever drop a really big bomb, I told us to hold up your thumb just like this, and if the cloud is smaller than your thumb, now you run for the hill. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's where he's going. Do you think it's gonna happen? I certainly hope not. But us cowpokes, we take it as it comes, right? Getting us endeared to him. Yeah. Have a slice, Dad. You know what? Let me see if I can't muscle you up a piece. Before he starts doing suspicious activities. Oh, I don't like this. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, that's horrifying. Is it your thumb yeah. or mine? Wow, he didn't notice, really? Huh? Whoa. See the reflection there. Can the I jump in the pool, maybe? I smoke, Jenny. It's just a fire. Wow. Whoa. Chills. Wow, it's crazy. It's not like fast how most movies depict no, it. Oh, no. Yeah. 
I'm really capturing the moment. Holy shit! Good thing no one was cut. Damn. Are oh, they gonna run to the shelter? I think Jonathan Nolan just brought the whole Westworld crew over here. Yeah, <laughs> like this is some music and everything too. Oh my god, they were just in a heartbeat. They were just buddies right before this. No, it all goes right out the window. Oh. This is a masterfully shot prologue. A oh, cowboy riding off pack. in the distance. Um, I was going to say, there's more to come. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Wow. That is absolutely horrifying. This is a fun show, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> my name is Lucy McLean, and I'm an active contributor to the well-being of my community. I enjoy participating in the Young Pipers Association. She preggers. My primary passion is teaching American history with a focus on ethics. A whole society. It's vault life. Intermediate phys ed, and I dabble in riflery. Dude, she's a jack of all trades. That's nothing else to do. <laughs> In my personal time, I enjoy taking walks and watching movies with my dad. Oh, that's cool. Is it of him? My reproductive organs are intact. I have been unable to find a suitable marriage partner. At least one I'm not related to. And we have rules about that for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> I hereby submit my application to the council to participate in the triennial trade with Vault 32. This is intriguing as hell. I have no idea what's happening. That's cool. <laughs> I love that you have no idea. <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming Vault 32 is something with going outside of here. So there's different vaults. Lucy. That looks like the title for the movie Lucy, which I haven't seen. <laughs> Aw. She's getting vault married. How huge are these vaults? Quite large, uh, but they're all very different. Basically large communities that were built uh, ahead of the world falling apart. I got one of those. Basically to ensure that humanity would survive. Although there's a couple other things going on that is a uh, little, right, little questionable. All right, all right. That's oh, good. that's interesting. Reused wedding dresses. Wow, I could have saved so much money in my wedding. That's actually a brilliant idea. Aw. Oh. Proud dad. It's a soundstage, Greg. Cool. This is how Lucasfilm makes all their shows now. <laughs> <laughs> my little sugar bomb. Oh, my little sugar bomb. That's a really cute Fallout reference. Gosh, you look just like your mother. I wish she was here. Me too. Were you scared when you married mom? Terrified. <laughs> Well, I'd never step foot outside Vault 31. When did it go away? The moment I met your mother. That's interesting. So 31, 32, 33, and 34 hmm. are all interconnected. From that moment on, Vault 31 was a distant memory to me. That's so interesting. Overseer? It's time. Oh, he's the overseer. So this is interesting. So in order to keep the populations diverse, they have come together. But how do they go from vault to vault without leaving? I have questions, Greg. <laughs> husband could be anybody. I'm aware. Oh, she doesn't even know who he is. No. Ah, there you go. Oh, interesting. It's like an interconnected tunnel of vaults. This is new. Gatekeeper. Oh, I can like feel the sound design. Textbook tumbler jam. It's going to take some time to fix. Do you have your pit boy? What's going on? Lucy, I love you. Oh, no. We all know that, Jen. <laughs> Messing around with your cousin, it's all well and good oh, for kids, but... Oh, yike. All good for kids? Oh, gross. Wow, this show's too woke. Cousins? Yeah, that's the future. Yeah, Greg. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh. Oh. Cool. Welcome, neighbors from Vault 32. I am Hank McLean, overseer of Vault 33. Sounds like Hank McCoy. Lee Moldaver. Overseer of 32, when blight hit our wheat, we lost a lot of good people. But this trade will help us get back on our feet. Lucy looks so impatient. So, <laughs> <laughs> who am I marrying? <laughs> I hope he's handsome. Or she. They. I'm Lucy. Do you have a name? Monty. Monty? 
Jones. Okay. <laughs> I gotta say, I really like the minister's garb. Oh, she's got eyes for him. Oh, they're so sophisticated. So this is the first time these societies are meeting. So what's your sperm count? Your vault's doctor must check every physical. No, sperm is pretty important in perpetuating America. <laughs> so... <laughs> I love Fallout. <laughs> we are bonded, not just as neighbors, but by a shared duty to keep the candle of civilization lit while the rest of the world has been cast into darkness. I love whoever plays Lucy. If our measurements are correct, that the next generation, Lucy and Monty's children, will be able to recolonize. Whoa. It's exciting, Greg. Monty looks half excited. We don't know much about what's up there. Desperation, violence, lawlessness. These survivors will need to be shown a better way. This sounds cool. <laughs> You'd love the games, Greg. <laughs> to Lucy McLean, and to this marriage, and to hope. To hope. It is a more twisted version of the movie Blast from the Past. <laughs> So can I give you, like, light spoilers? Nope. <laughs> oh, this is so hard, Greg. <laughs> All right. No. Oh, Aw. I love retrofuturism more than any genre. This is funny because they probably never have any new music, huh? Like, all these centuries have just been passing down the just same music. Over and over and over. And over. Show me to my new home. I've got a bad feeling about him. Yeah, I know. He reeks of villainy. There, there's a ploy here. Yeah. I think they, they killed the, the last. Open. They must have killed the last overseers when I'm thinking. Yeah. I mean, their crops failed. No. They don't have food. They have tattoos. <laughs> right here. Oh, boy. Picture the Christmas morning mm. around the tree. We have everything with the hat. Uh, I was hopping right to it. Gave us. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're so confident. Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> right, maybe not. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, those scars are pretty gnarly. If any of this is on YouTube, you know none of it is on YouTube. It's just us faces with a blurry screen here. <laughs> not me bouncing my head, dancing yeah. around. <laughs> Oh, oh, you're not going to find anything that you like here. Oh, no, that's total crop failure. <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ Wipes himself on the curtain. <laughs> Kudos to Fallout for staying true to itself. Ah, this truly looks like most... Fallout players forts <laughs> in their games. Dead crops. Lawn chair set up. I mean, this looks uh, like it hasn't had anyone inhabiting it. It just feels like an oh, apocalypse. Have they been landscape. eating the babies? Oh my god. They have been eating people. Did he put that together? He's got a big brain. Oh, he's not used to running water. Oh, something terribly violent's about to go down. Yep. Oh, he's been outside. They're not from the vault. Oh, shit. They're outsiders. Raiders. Oh, so they wiped them out before. Okay. They wiped out at 32. Ouch. Oh. oh. It's a hot shot. Queen. Yeah, <laughs> that's beautiful. Just so you know, this was the best day of my life. <laughs> Jesus. That's the first time I've heard him speak. Oh. God damn. Oh, man. That's seriously messed up. Oh, oh, 
Ouch. Oh my god. God, we don't even know what's happening outside right now. Nice. Ooh. Nice! Oh. Nice! That's what I'm talking about. All right, time to get a stem pack. Oh. It's doing an excellent job at getting you in invested in her. And it's just funny. She hasn't even seen the outside world. And it was about the journey there. Yeah. And then invading her is just giving her a Stim taste of the horror to come. Yeah. No, that's, it's that's really fine. Well, it, it's, well it's, it's a genre bending. Yeah. It's a really well written show so far. And they've captured like, the spirit of it so well. Because there was so much wonder down here in the vault. And this is like the horror that awaits them. It's really well done. No! Oh. Massacre! Red Wedding! I'll take his outfit, though. It's really cool. That's what I would do if this was the real Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> just collect all the gear. Yeah. Oh, is it cleared out already? Whoa, you look like a Bond girl now. Sick outfit. The Bride. Don't lose your head. God, this is great. Whoa! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> it's crazy. She has all this training. Show it's me the first a syringer. Time she, first time she actually gets to do that in combat. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is so accurate. Oh! This is archaic, man. It's Raiders for you. you may see a nice, man. Please grab a gun. Oh, whoa. That's going down. Oh, shit. Oh, burning film. That's a beautiful look. No, live. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Holy shit. Yeah, I like how there's like a bit of a B-movie pulp action to it. Sir, please don't make me use force. Oh no. Is that a power up? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oof. Ouch. Gah. This is really well constructed because it's whittling it down to your main ensemble now. <laughs> It's really, oh my god, what the hell? Oh, oh daddy lives. She could still be pregnant, though. Oh, no. And you could see this show doing something messed up like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. you sure can. Oh, he just murdered his son-in-law. I mean... In-laws, am I right? <laughs> nah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> oh yeah, drown that dumbass. I'm not one for violence, but... <laughs> Bob for pickles. And pickles? Oh yeah. god, I hate pickles. Ooh, can you imagine how that feels on the scars? And the scar and yeah. ex exposure of that. Ah. He's about to die. Interval. Oh, there's more coming. I hope he lives, because the prologue was a father and daughter riding off, and now we're getting another father and daughter again in their I, own. I think he's a really interesting character. Yeah. you got to be shitting me. I think I know who you are. Everyone knows who I am. Oh, boy. I don't. But do they know who they what? are? They are the product of one of life's tricky little choices. So I'm going to offer you a choice. Tell the truth. Them or her. Oh my god, it's that train railroad dilemma. That's literally though. <laughs> Stop. Stop. You are my
my world. Whoa. Oh, this is very interesting. They're like banishing her out of here? You look like your mother. Oh, this is very, very interesting. Oh my god, we got ourselves a mystery box, people. Where are you taking him? To the real world. You should see it sometime. Oh shit. Maybe you should do what you do best. Run and hide. Color me intrigued. I don't know what's happening. Wow, the mystery surrounding this. So. Oh, okay. Oh, we're we're just hopping around characters. Now. Yeah, we sure are. Oh, 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 little Johnny Cash. A brotherhood of steel. <laughs> yes, it is. The way they know how to like smash to our characters to quickly give you an idea who who they are visually. Still smell. She's mostly blood. Flesh is weak, but steel endures. Mm -hmm. Conan the Barbarian. Johnny Cash's tunes are perfect for a Western irony. They asked me, I guess I'd be denied. Yeah, there, there it is. The duty of the Brotherhood of Steel to secure the wasteland. You will help knights find and identify pre-war tech. Aspirin Maximus. Cool. I didn't even have to explain anything to you, Greg. Yeah, they got it covered. Can you identify this relic? Rotor? Oh, ouch. It's like Catholic school. It is a little religious. We are the finders and the preservers. Unless you know what to find and preserve, you are more useful as a corpse. Dude, this Maximus guy's been his ass kicked for the last few minutes. Yeah. Oh, is that a vertebrate? No. Is that what I think it is? That can't be the bread one. A blimp. A very large blimp. Oh my god, that's the bread one. Wow. What's it doing all the way over here? That looks very real. Well, they built a real one for this. Okay. <laughs> I feel like there's been some visual direction taking a cue out of like what Neil Blomkamp does. Yeah. No, but actually. Oh, Whoa, there they are. Baby. There's that good old power armor. What kind of model is that? It's the T60. Imagine getting to put on one of those every day. That doesn't look appetizing. I put in a lot of hours to use those suits, <laughs> Crick. I wonder why they're here. Oh, man. This is excellent music. I'm so impressed so far. I feel like they've done such a good job. Come on, I got something I want to show you. Well, the train duty is a two-person job. I said come on. Well, shit isn't going anywhere. Can't say I ever had latrine duties when I played the game. <laughs> oh, ha, ha, ha. Take it for a test drive. Like the little details to like the lantern design and thing like just such thoughtful set design here. Oh, no, it so just good. this feels like a mechanic garage. It's really well done. I know how to. I don't know what is the game and not, but it just no. Feels it's real no, life it's with literally a fantasy t t tinge to it. <laughs> Was he saved? Oh my god, he's a Dinjarin. <laughs> I was just <laughs> say that. He's a foundling. Yeah. Vertibird? Nope. I want to see a vertibird. Oh, look at this fake basketball. They couldn't invent a rubber ball. I distinctly I, remember I'm finding all... basketballs. Oh, that guy's. They just People just touch themselves. No problem here. It's huh? a game. I, want, I hope Jonathan Nolan was the uh, cameo of the guy touching himself. <laughs> <laughs> We're chosen to get anointed. Oh, wow. Hey, what's your title gonna be? Squire. Tonight, Titus. And get this, we're going to the wild. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why do I've got a feeling you're gonna leave the brotherhood? <laughs> oh. Oh, dude. Why are you breaking the toilet seat? Even in such a vulnerable, anguishing moment, not one person notices him. Mm, that's a good call. Ah! Ah! Huh? What the hell? Scorpion? Oh Ooh. my god. Oh god. Are they punishing Maximus? I mean, they probably assumed that it was him. Aww. Aww. 
you know. You guys are handling this like you've had a massacre before. You know, it's just kind of part of the experience. Oh, compost. compost. See? <laughs> Drop the bodies in the compost. I have a proposal for the assembly. I should get married to someone else in a different vault. My cousin. We send a search party to the surface to find my dad. There are four people from farm duty for up to two weeks, even with our dwindled... Rescue group. mission, and you will find answers along the way. Opening the outer vault door? Just for under a minute, okay? It, it's just enough time to... Okay, I, I know we're just... We're brainstorming here. And <laughs> It's the guy that was worried about the gelatin. <laughs> First priority has to be to maintain the security of this vault. That means not opening any of our doors. Well said, Betty. Shut up, Betty. They don't want to find Dad. If they did, they wouldn't get to be in charge. Mm. Take the initiative, Lucy. She's just going to go. She's got to have a couple of companions, right? Or is she going to go solo? What kind of Fallout game would it be if she left the vault? With I don't else? know. I've never played. Sorry. Ah, the thumbs up. You're putting it all together, Greg. I'm so proud of you. Well, it, the show is embracing the mystery angle of it, you know? And I imagine a game will be a little bit more expositional. <laughs> Tell you more. And this is actually really, really? okay. This is kind of the approach. Like you, you, this is you, this is you, you pick up pieces. And this you, you is the formula. Game. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Every Fallout game starts with a mystery. Yeah, I'm liking it. And in a vault, but every vault mystery is somehow remarkably different. Uh, this one is no exception, but usually involves parent drama. <laughs> mm. There you go. The blood is going. Yeah, they're not going to make it long. I'm rooting for the cousins. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Fallout finally unveiled a co-op mode. Fallout 76 not included. I mean, she's the only one strapped, though, so she, I think she's going alone. Oh, well, they need two people to help open it. Wow. I love to pee off the ledge there. Take care and warm to my back, okay? I can't. I'm going with you. No, you're not. You're way too timid. I'm not letting anyone else get hurt on my behalf. <laughs> nice. Now it's the same to you if you try to follow me. I'm too chicken. No. This is great because it's so character motivated. And I, I think my one worry was, is this just going to be like a shit ton of world building? And no, but that's, they're leading with the heart and the character first. And I, I, Fallout I'm very, is, very invested in her right now. It's always been a great character driven yeah. exposition. Yeah, I'm, I'm very invested in her journey. I'm bringing him home. Like, I'm feeling the feelings, yeah, the empathy as an audience member is cool. Now the question is, is her play style like mine? We're just going to go on side quest? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Completely ignore the main quest? And like the build up to seeing the outside is so well done. It's cleverly crafted. Personalities are trapped in the 50s. Sex shot. That didn't work. <laughs> that sounds like a cutscene from a game. Oh my god. It's totally skeleton. Well, it makes Skull sense. Uh, everyone was running to the vaults. Yeah, it's crazy. <sighs> yeah, the scene outside vaults are usually very upsetting. Oh. Whoa. Oh, man. This feels a little too real. Holy shit. Yeah. Fallout does not mess around. See, I love that direction choice. They get you into the tangibility of like something that is real that we know about, and then they go to the big scopic cool shots, you know? Uh, so I think I think they know how to capture the emotionality really well. It's a really impressive trip. <laughs> it's really impressive. Jonathan Nolan was the right choice. Yeah. He understands scale. Oh, we're about to get that skyline. Oh, no, that's Santa Monica. It's the pier. Wow. That must be an expensive property, that vault. Okie dokie. That's her quote. Getting a shirt made now. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. <laughs> We have given you 
a name, food, education, a place in the world. Okay. We expect you to give us the truth. Why did you join the Brotherhood? To hurt the people who hurt me. That is very true. Damn. <gasps> Indiana Jones did. I think he was just hiding in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my head again. <laughs> I understand you're a friend of Aspirin Dane. Yes. You're aware of their injury. Do you know who did it? No. You gotta have an idea. Your fellow Aspirin say it was you. Mm. Why does he just get blamed for everything? Your friend was promoted. You were not. You have Ugh. ambitions, don't you? <laughs> that towering over. That's great. Speed. Oof. I, I didn't, didn't do it. I did not. Hero in a flashback. Terrifying in the present. I, I, I wanted it to happen. Is that wrong? But that doesn't mean you did it. Yes. Violence against a brother of steel is a sign of weakness. Are you weak? I don't want to be. Oof. That's a symbol of strength right there. At least in his eyes. I don't know if it's actually good or not. Do you have anything else to say in your defense? I, I want to thank you. Thank you. For giving me a home. I, I had no place in the world. So if I can help the Brotherhood make it better, Eden or whatever. <laughs> even if it means giving my own life, I'll do it. Whoa. He believes this is his purpose. And I'd be grateful to the Brotherhood for giving my life meaning. Good boy. Oh, you just saved your life, dude. And you will be Knight Titus, new squire. Oh, wow. I wonder if he did it. I don't think he did, but I wonder if he did. <laughs> Whew, that is a great actor. I love how there's this journey of him just fighting the tears the entire time. It's not so bad. Oh, my God. It's just giving me tingles just thinking about doing that. <laughs> <laughs> be real careful putting your shoes on. Yeah, you know, it's, it's so a cover real thinking about it. <laughs> you know who did it? Well, I've narrowed it down to any one of those assholes. They all seem like likely suspects. <laughs> I was going to say, why weren't they interrogated? <laughs> it is your most sacred duty to protect the Brotherhood. Oh, that's a sec to get to watch this. It is your most sacred duty to protect your Lord, Knight Titus. Whoa. Do you accept? This is going to be really cool. The religious element feels uh, even a tad bit more false because of the setting in which they do all this. Ouch. Ouch. Nice. Ah, I thought it'd be worse. Okay. Our mission comes. Oh, the vertebrates. In the Commonwealth, it is believed that the denizen of the Enclave <gasps> has escaped. The Enclave's real. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> and that he has with him an object of profound potential. I'll keep this information. Ah, oh, the outfit. Approximation of the target for your lord. <laughs> All right, <laughs> companion. You dismissed Asper. Ah, <laughs> he gets to have a smile on his face. A little bit of power. I feel like we might have a new Game of Thrones on our hands I here, I was Greg. just thinking that this is feeling like Game of Thrones to me in terms of, like, the map, the different characters, and the amount of, like, you gotta really the, pay attention to what they're saying. The factions. <laughs> yeah. And we've only got two so far. Yeah. We, haven't even, we haven't even scratched the surface. And the fact they're introducing the Commonwealth Enclave, you don't even know what that means, Greg. Yeah, I was like, all right, I'll just try to commit that to memory. And we're in California, which opens up a whole other can of worms. I'm so freaking excited. Joy. Whoa. Oh, my goodness gracious. Did he deserve that? <laughs> I don't know which grave. Well, Slim, we look for the freshman. Oh, the grave robin, huh? Fun. Don Pedro has our friend dug up once a Don year. Pedro. Cuts some pieces off and puts him right back in the ground. All right. Sweet. Bingo. Oh, oh my God. What's this guy's name? He's a great actor. You're telling me the supreme badass we're looking for is a godforsaken mutant? <laughs> Hell, some respect. Oh, are they resurrecting Walton Goggins? Or bringing him out? Uh. Pop worked with him once. You're Pop. How long has this asshole been moldering in the ground? How do we know he's not feral? That is why we brought <laughs> a feral goon. Can't abide a chicken. That's so funny. If he goes for him, we kill him. So this is a strong plan. Ghouls can live for extremely long periods of time, but there reaches a certain point where they become feral. 
Like zombies. I think the show explained that pretty well. Uh, I just was <laughs> trying to make myself useful, Greg. <laughs> Push the chicken. And after all this time, would you have your humanity? Well, well, well. <laughs> Why, this is an Amish production of the Count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> just the weirdest circle jerk I've ever been invited to. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm Huncho. Now, you don't even know us. No, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, he might just be hungry. I mean, it's probably been a minute. <laughs> we got a proposition for you. A bounty came down, a huge one, enough to be a now somebody made a run. Oh, that's the same guy. Ah, uh, gotcha. It ain't where they's running from. I figured you'd be interested in. It's where they's running to. That witch, Molde, in California. Mm. That's where you from, ain't it? Originally, I mean. Does he want to go visit that past? They're doing one last job that usually means their heart's not in it. Probably never was. I do this shit for the love of the game. Whoa. Lasso. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Boom. Oh, this is phenomenal. <laughs> you right, friend, about one thing. This right here was your last job. <laughs> My paycheck wasn't quite what you expected, but well, you know what they say. Us cow pokes. Oh. We take it as it comes. So he played a cowboy. Now he's a real gunslinger. Ex-Marine, they let the chicken live. <laughs> That Easter egg. It's Skyrim Easter egg. <laughs> oh, there's also there's a couple of chickens that follow. Thrilled to be partnering with a brand I've been using for nearly two years now, and that's Harry's Razors. I'm generally more drawn to anything that goes against the norm, and Harry's does just that in the grooming world. They saw the high prices in the industry and decided to blaze their own trail with quality and affordability. I keep a beer, but whenever you see these cheeks in the neck clean, and that's the work of Harry's right there. Keeps my wife happy, and Harry's makes it effortless. They're precision blades that cut smoothly with less drag, making every shave satisfying. And yes, it's versatile for other areas too, you know what I mean? So as a Harry's devotee, I can vouch for their value. You can experience unparalleled comfort and quality in your grooming routine where exceptional craftsmanship meets affordability, making a smart choice for a top-notch shave without breaking the bank. Their kits and value packs for shaving are unbeatable, but Harry's is not just about shaving. Again, they offer top quality, thoughtfully designed grooming products, including shampoo, conditioner, and amazing body wash without the premium price. Quality, affordability, that's a thesis of this. Now these I actually pulled right from my own bathroom. I regularly use their five blade razor with a nice weighted handle and their foaming shave gel man this that ball it is a game changer i just like the feel of it now i have to commit to keeping this in my hand the whole time because i'm not going to go to the bathroom in the middle of shooting this the handles they feel perfectly balanced and the razor sleek design is a classy addition to my bathroom and the quality of the shave unparalleled gotta reiterate keep part of my weekly grooming ritual because their entire range of products fits seamlessly into my routine stuff so no reshoots here their german engineer blades are durable and refill plans are economical rarely use the word economical but i'm using it now plus their commitment to high customer satisfaction and no risk trial makes harry's a no brainer Brainer. This gel really does feel good. Let me say once more, choosing Harry's means quality and affordability. By grabbing your $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash rejects, you're not only getting a great deal, but you're also supporting this channel. That's harrys.com slash rejects for your $3 trial set. Stay sharp and embrace the extraordinary with Harry's. Till next time, Reject Nation. Till next time. Alrighty, guys. Well, if you're listening to us on Apple or Spotify, we just watched the first episode of Fallout. Now, normally we like to really talk for a significant period of time but we got eight of these episodes that they dropped all at once and i'm sure by the time we're reviewing this by the time we reach this point in the video you've already watched like the whole show or something <laughs> like that so uh yeah we'll talk for a little bit to give the first impressions there's no need to really hyper theorize about where the show is going to go down well, reminder i don't know this world michael knows the games very well 
So, um, Michael, as a fan of the games, yeah. what did you think, my friend, of the pilot for Fallout? You know, uh, I came into this absolutely terrified. I think they knocked it out of the park. Uh, they captured the spirit of the games. I mean, the setup felt like the, the setup of every great Fallout game. Uh, the the texture, the feeling, the dialogue, uh, every part of it from start to finish was just, it was Fallout. And uh, they did not shy away from the violence. They did not shy away from the sex. They captured the music, the tone, the costume design, the prop design, the 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 acting, the script. I mean, just like top to bottom. And they did it in a way to where it felt so authentic to Fallout, and it feels like it's part of the universe, while it also feels wholly original, which I know is the goal going in. Mm. Um, and I think that's something really neat. Like, there is, uh, the intent here was that it's not a, a retelling of any particular Fallout game as much as it is its own story just within the extended Fallout universe. Uh, and I think that was such a smart move. And, you know, I've been saying for a long time, especially like since The Last of Us came out, like if you give video game producers the ability to be a active participant in the creative process, they're very good. You know, and I think historically big film studios and, and, and television studios have shied away from that. And because of that, you get these like really horrific adaptations. Uh, but between The Last of Us and now Fallout, like... I think this has the opportunity to become, like we said earlier during the reaction, like like a Game of Thrones scale series, yeah. uh, especially like knowing the extent of the lore and where it can go and the way in which it is exploring this exposition through these like extremely personal and compelling characters. Um, I mean, like I'm so interested in, in your opinion, Greg, uh, just from like somebody that has zero exposure, no pun intended, uh, to Fallout. Um, I also, like, maybe it's because of the state of the world, um, but, like, the opening sequence was just so horrifically jarring in a way that, like, as, as hard as it is to, like, play the Fallout games and just be like, oh, the apocalypse, it's so scary. Uh, like, the way that things are right now... It is kind of like a friendly reminder of how fragile things are. Um, and like we're in L.A. and to see L.A. like go up like that. I was like, oh mm -hmm. boy, oh boy. Um, but yeah, and it's just like retrofuturism is a hard thing to capture and make it feel realistic. You know, like Fallout is inherently unrealistic, right? Like, like it takes place in the future, but it feels like it's the 1950s. And you have these characters that are like kind of caricatures you know, ridiculous, you know, and you have these like crazy juxtapositions of, of genres. And I mean, you have something like the Brotherhood of Steel, like this like odd religious cult uh, that is like militaristic. And then you have, you know, the vaults themselves, which are just wild. And to make that all work and somehow feel believable is just like an extraordinary feat of storytelling. So I don't know. I, I just I had an absolute blast. Uh, what did you think, Greg? I thought it was a fantastic first episode. I really, really thought that maybe we were just walking something that was going to be more world build -y. Mm -hmm. I had faith in it because it's Jonathan Nolan, and I'm a big fan of the Westworld show. Yeah. So I, I even liked uh, a lot of Westworld that a lot of people don't like. So I'm like, I'm, not I'm, not, I'm inclined <laughs> to the voice of Jonathan Nolan overall, I would say. Sure. And... I love how it's book ended with the ghoul character really showing the before and after with him uh, specifically, even giving you a chance at hope of you, you watched him as the ghoul at the end. Mm -hmm. See like what a lethal badass he is. And, and I love how people were, there were men talking down to him at the beginning of this and he kind of just took it. And then he, and then all oh, here in the way far future, as he's morphed completely into this world, he is officially the gunslinger, not just playing a cowboy. Mm. Men talking down to him, and he whoops their asses. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, like it's such a great change of trajectory. Yeah. And that's just one little example of why I think this show works so well. Is yeah. they focus so much on the intimacy and the emotionality of the characters. And they allow that to be the world building. Like there's so much at the time where 
I'm like, okay, I don't fully get like the entire ins and outs, but I never felt lost at the same time. Like uh, you need to, as an audience member who's being introduced to this, I was like, I just need to latch onto what I need to latch onto right now. And then I'll further understand it as it develops. But I was never confused, if that makes sense. There was never a scene where I was like, I really have no idea what they're talking about, you know? And if I ever had a question, I was always like intrigued and trusted the show will take me to a place where I would eventually understand what's happening. Yeah. Uh, and like the way how Jonathan Nolan directs, I think is so smart, even right from the prologue of, of when you first see like a robot in the living room, which is kind of off in the corner. So that way you're just staying lived in with the humanity of it instead of just going flashy with the futuristic stuff. Mm. And they do that right out of the vault too, with things that reflect like the hydrogen uh, bomb dropping and you see like the the corpses outside and then you go to the big scale shots like it was yeah, smart yeah. to constantly go intimate then big scale versus big scale show budget yeah uh, but more importantly like as a story i was hooked so much into the emotion of the characters lucy if there's if there's one little my minor complaint for a pilot, but it's just a mm. pilot. And like I said, the show they released it all at once, so it's meant to be binged. Yeah. And that's why I don't want to like spend too much time harping on a point like this is that not every story here is as equally interesting as some of the like like the the Maximus one. I'm like, that's interesting. Uh, but it's really easy for me to be like, but the Lucy one I'm way more gravitated towards. So it's really just a preference at that point. Sure. And it's not, and oh, so those are going to converge though. Yeah. You know, they're yeah, going to converge and it's mainly about like where the heart impact interest is yeah, yeah. at the moment. And, uh, there's just one obstacle the show's kind of up against when you're hopping around because at times you think yeah. the episode's over and then it's not, I, I, I always admire a show with multiple POVs. Like, yeah, and I, think I, I feel like it's a well. hard thing to pull off. And when it is pulled off successfully, I think it makes for like my favorite television. Absolutely. Because in essence, you're getting like five great shows. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, and that's what I mean. I think yeah. the melding of genres, they're they are excellently pulling off yeah. and the practical effects are, are yeah. wonderful. And I, uh, the, it's smart. Like they have a bit of that JJ Abrams esque touch where, okay, there's a mystery about her mom. Yeah. She's going to go rescue her dad, but she, she's got to uncover answers along the way yeah. about the truth. So I think it's, it's just a really smart pilot. Like yeah. for a first episode, it's, it's very, very yeah. intriguing. And it, yeah. it's, grounded for something that's so large uh i was surprised by um because you know like I've, I've i've seen like other shows that are adaptations i think last of us did it really well for the most part but that is yeah. essentially retelling mm. um i wasn't no, that's a, huge, a great that's a great point i wasn't a huge fan of avatar the live action wasn't a huge fan of that yeah. while i like some of it there was uh, overall i was like this is like the opposite to what avatar was doing yeah. you know we're just like information overload you know so yeah. I, I yeah and I, and I like the visuals yeah. and the violence and the irony that is constantly happening yeah. too yeah it's cool no exposition's a dangerous thing uh and I, I feel like they've they've found a perfect balance here uh and again i i and i've said it you know in other videos that we've done like the best way to experience great exposition is through like profound personal journeys sure. and i feel like they've they've set us up with such wonderful characters uh, I do think there was one giant mistake that was made. Where the heck is Ron Perlman? <laughs> um, uh, every fallout should begin with war. War never changes. Like, that's just like an essential, and I don't understand why it's not there. That's not a hard call of Ron Perlman. Is he on strike? <laughs> What's going on? Uh you know, but other than that, like I'm super jazzed. Um, oh, and the acting is amazing. Yeah, too. no, the the acting is 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 top notch. Every, every actor here is incredible. Um, yeah, and uh, and yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm like kind of don't want to talk anymore because I want to watch the next one. I should watch the next. Let's one. watch the next one, guys. Right. Leo, close this up, Michael. You do it. Yeah. Uh, listen. Uh, I hope that everybody has taken their iodine tablets. Uh, and that you have a Geiger counter or a, a Pip Boy handy because it is getting radioactive up in here. We'll see you on episode two. Thank you for joining, and uh, don't forget to leave a like. And uh, what was your favorite part of the pilot? Leave your comments below. We'll see you in the next one. Michael, Michael B. B. Omni Media. Gotta shout this guy out because I'm going to assume that right now he is also covering the Fallout series. And if I know this guy, he is delivering y'all fantastic, amazing reactions. So please go ahead, check out his channel, Omni Media, 
and uh, support him on all fronts because he's seriously one of the best reaction channels out there right now. He's a guy who provides a lot of insight, a lot of knowledge, and he's just a whole lot of fun to hang out with as well. He's actually going to be coming out here for like 12 hours uh, at some point this month. So hopefully I can touch base with him, but he's going to be like an hour away. Do I really want to drive that far to go see you? I like you. I love you. But do I like you that much? Maybe. I'm a busy guy. And it's like three hours out of my day. But go watch his channel. <laughs> Subscribe. Hit the notifications.